Hello and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our brand new stitch frame dies. We have rectangles, circles, and squares. These are so awesome for adding a nice detail to cards and they're perfect for making shaker cards and I can't wait to show you guys that today. So here are all of these frames die cut out. You can see that gorgeous stitching detail in the center. They are so awesome. And these frames were all designed to work with our large stackables. So the rectangle frames will work with the large stitched rectangle stackables. And the square frames will work with the large stitched square stackables. And the circle frames will work with the large stitched circle stackables. And so here I just wanted to show you how nicely they line up. So here I die cut from the second largest of these large stitch rectangle dies. And I'm going to take the second largest frame and you're going to see how beautifully they line up. I just love that detail. It's a really nice way to make a simple card look really finished. And here's the same thing with the squares. So you can see how those line up. And then the same thing with the circles. So that's going to line up just beautifully right on top. So now I wanted to go ahead and show you how to make a shaker card with these. So you'll see here I have the frames and the large stitch circle that coordinates with it. And the first thing I'm going to do is cut the base of the shaker with that large stitch circle. Now here I have the frames and I am just freehand cutting a piece of fun foam here. And now here I'm freehand cutting some stick it to go on that fun foam. So I want to make this fun foam a sticker because I do not like using liquid glue for shakers. So I'm going to take this stick it product and what it is, it's an adhesive with a really thin layer on both sides. I'm going to peel off one of the backings and lay it right on top of my fun foam. And then once I get that on there, I'm going to go ahead and press it down really, really well to create a sticker on this side of the fun foam. Now, of course, I need to have a sticker on the other side, so I'm going to flip it over and do the exact same thing. I'm going to peel off that liner paper and stick that down really well. This Stick It product is so great for shakers. It's the only way that I make shakers now. So now I've created my own foam sticker. So I'm going to take this brand new stitch circle frame die and die cut this fun foam. So I'm going to run it through my die cut machine just like I would anything else, just like normal. And I'll put that right through. And you're going to see here that it doesn't cut all the way through the liner on the back. Now you could just peel the liner on the back off and take your frame out and it would take just about two seconds. But for some reason I decided I just had to save that fun foam in the center to use on another project. So I just took my X-Acto knife and cut that liner paper right off so I can pop that circle right out and save it for something else. So now I have my frame out and then I can pop that circle out. And now I have my frame to start working on my shaker. So I used my stitch circle frame die to cut both the foam part that's going to create the shaker mechanism and the frame to make it really cute on top. And then now I'm using the large circle stackables to create both the window and the base. Now I wanted to create a little grassy hill on this base, so I die cut with the same die there some noble fur cardstock and I'm going to use the brand new simple stitch hillside border die to create a really cute little grassy hill. So I'm going to run that through my die cut machine and now I'm going to have a nice stitched grassy hill to go on the bottom of my shaker and now I've got all of my pieces ready to go. So I am going to put a ton of tape on there and make sure that that grassy hill is taped down really well. And here I have a fairy from Fairy Friends. I'll be doing that intro video soon so make sure to look out for that one. And now I'm ready to finally use that circle frame. So here you can see I've stuck it right on there and I'm just going to make sure that's stuck down really well. Now here I'm going to grab one of these anti-static tools and I'm going to run it all along the inside of the frame to remove any extra stick from that stick it. That way when I put these cute little sequins in they won't stick too much to the sides of the shaker. So here I have some sequins from Lucy's Little Things. They're so cute and I'm going to fill my shaker I'm going to peel up that liner paper on that now foam sticker that I created and we're going to put that little window right on top making the shaker. This is my favorite part when I finally get to shake it. I love it. So now I've got a shaker going and it's time to decorate with my last frame piece, my guava piece. And this is really going to make it look nice and finished. 
Now this little circle shaker would look really cute on a card, but I thought it would be fun to make the shaker the card itself. So right now after I shook my little bits around a little bit, I am going to go ahead and take some cardstock and score it at three and a half. So it's three and a half by three and a half. I'm going to fold that right along that score line really well. And I'm going to create a circle shaped card base. So I'm going to take that same circle stackable, the one that made the base and the window, and it's going to create the card base. So I'm going to line it up right with the top of that folded line, making sure that a little bit of the die is above the folded line. And then I'm going to tape it in place. So here you'll see at the top that it's not going to cut through that top part of the card. And when you pull it out of your die cut machine, you'll see it's so cool. It creates a circle shaped card base, which I just, I just love doing this. For some reason, it's always magical to me that it makes this cute little card. So now before I adhere it to my shaker, I wanted to stamp something on the inside. So this is from also from Fairy Friends, and uh, it's got the thank you very much sentiment. And so I want to just stamp the thank you part of it. So I'm going to go ahead and cover part of it up with some post-it note tape and use some plastic flamingo ink ink that thank you up really well then I can remove that post-it and now I'm only going to stamp the thank you part of this sentiment now I wanted that pink to be really dark so I'm going to double stamp it and then I can move on to the very much part of the sentiment <laughs> it's so cute it just makes me smile so I'm going to go ahead and take that post-it note cover up the thank you part this time and then add some plastic flamingo ink to the very much remove my post-it tape and stamp that twice. So I'm going to get that nice dark pink by double stamping it. So now that I've got my sentiment on the inside of the card, uh, I smeared some pink ink on there. So I'm going to use a white gel pen to cover it up. I do that on almost every card. I always smear ink. I wish I could stop, but I can't. <laughs> so now I've got this card base and I want to make sure that I adhere it on to the shaker really nice and straight. So I'm taking the shaker, putting it straight, flipping it right over. And now I know that I can line that card base up straight and it's going to be perfect so it's going to stand out really well so now you've got this shaker that's also a card i think it's just so much fun it just makes me smile and it's nice and simple and easy to make a lot of them too now here are all of these awesome frames all die cut i love how they're great frames for the large stackables that coordinate with them and i love how they're perfect for shakers i'm going to be using them a lot in all my videos because i just love making shaker cards and here's a nice look at how great it can frame a card. I just love that look. I think it's so gorgeous. And here's one last look at these awesome frames. So these are the new stitch frames. We have the rectangle frames, the square frames, and the circle frames. They are awesome for just adding a nice detail to your cards. I love that they coordinate with our previous large stitch stackables, so large stitch rectangle, large stitch square, and large stitch circle. And they're perfect for making shakers, which is my favorite part about these frame dies. And here's a nice simple little shaker that I made with the stitch circle frames. And I'll be using these a lot throughout the videos this inspiration week. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.